All right, guys, y'all ready to get this thing going? We ready? The first two songs insane? All right, let's get it. Let's do this. Well, he was he was very tough as a little as a little boy, you know, because he was very active. He's a three-story size. Whoa! I was always worried about him, you know, because his dad wasn't around, you know, and I. Hey, is this oh, his gosh, mom? She was a handful. Is this his mom talking? Wasn't around, you know, and I. <laughs> Oh gosh, she was a handful. Bro, this sounds so nice. Oh my god, bro. The arrow flies through the clouds searching for clarity. A double Oh, the arrow flies through the crowd searching for through the clouds searching for clarity. That's all shout outs to like reminiscing on past albums and songs. The arrow flies to the clouds searching for clarity. A double edged sword, good and evil, life and duality. The key is to find the beauty inside of the tragedy. The feather falls, the spirit talks, life before and after me. Then it will with apathy. I'm trying to find my lost boy. Hope he ain't a casualty. I think I lost my happy thought. Oh my god. Bro, this is like transcending me into the next dimension right now. I'm getting chills from the mom narrating, saying that like he was not necessarily a troubled kid, but obviously didn't have a perfect home and that affected him. We got the little raps there talking about like the duality of life and trying to find the little boy. I don't know if he's talking about the little boy inside him, like trying to find the trying to find the, the pure kid he once was throughout all the scars that life brings. Bro. <laughs> That's a hell of a fucking intro. As intros go, that's one of the that's one of the better ones that I've ever heard. Crazy, bro. That's nine or a ten. I can understand people saying it's a ten. Just the production swell, the amount of different elements in the production. Um, his mom on there kind of quietly. He comes on and raps for maybe four bars, and then the rest is just like setting this atmosphere and this tone for the entire album. That's nice, bro. Super nice. All right, we're gonna go right into the next track, which is falling. <laughs> Eight oh eight is crazy, bro. Had a nice little hype train, guys. Appreciate you. Don't want a girl who's only telling is just looking good. Hey. I just switch the paradigm. I know the booking good. Hey. I gotta explain when it's understood. Only thing I wish, I wish, I wish, I wish you good. Oh, he switched it up right there. He said, only thing I wish, I thought he was going to say, I wish you would. Like, I wish you would ch come try to test me. I think I think Kanye said that in one of his songs. The only thing I wish, I wish it would. That was hard because he's like, I don't wish harm upon anybody. I'm, I wish you good. I wish you good health. Only thing I wish, I wish, I wish, I wish you good. Uh, right back where we left off. Sit down, this my TED talk. My bad, I took so long. Hey. Ooh. Falling out of love. Bro, the production is crazy. The production is crazy, bro. All of the different nuances in the back. So long, but My bad I took so long. Yeah. Bruh. Falling out of love. Falling out of touch. I'm falling up. Say they falling through. I ain't falling for it. How I'm feeling numb. Feeling like I want to feel. Bro, 
his flow is so nice the way he just rides the beat i mean there's nothing too crazy in there to break down or talk about it's all pretty straightforward i'm trying to feel like his son i'm assuming he's talking about being like a child of god um he said something else in there that said oh he said falling up like we're never falling down we're always falling up because even when we are down we're lifted up i'm assuming by the lord as well it's just nice bro the production is crazy it sound like i never met me one jesus saved me from christians the ones that hey. stay forgetting before you hold a grudge you should hold a beer before you hold a stone you should hold a mirror Ooh, before you hold a stone you should hold a mirror that's nice. He said, Jesus saved me from these other Christians that aren't actually living the Christian life. They're just in the Christian life to judge, bro. Before you throw a stone, hold a mirror to make sure you're not that same exact person you're casting to the side. That's day forgetting. Before you hold a grudge, you should hold a beer. Before you hold a stone, you should hold a mirror. Ooh. Been a lonely year. Been a Kobe year. Y'all stay hey. over there. He said, this ain't no Kobe beef. This is that A5, baby. People think that Kobe beef is the top of the top, but Wagyu A5 is really the top of the top. So while you over there on that Kobe beef life, you don't even know what it's like to be on this side, bro. Kobe gear. This ain't Kobe beef. Not to say five. I don't smoke the beef. It give me anxiety. Say that you ain't racist. You know a black guy. In your head, Jordans, you just got baptized. Man, this whole town. Give me bad vibes. It's just that guy. Hey. Don't, be, don't be that guy. My, my pronoun is just I'm that muff. You know what I'm saying? I'm that guy. I almost forgot that we had a uh that we had a uh no cursing redeem. Have a good time. Listen to the the boy Andy. Appreciate you, Zoro. Me bad vibes. And my pronoun is just that guy. Don't be don't be that Ooh, guy. Falling from the sky. Am I at the end or did I just begin? Who really knows? You gotta, you gotta let go and let God. You know what I'm saying? From the sky, you're falling in your head. Is it a disguise? Falling from the sky, falling from your head. Can you tell me why? When I don't understand. Am I at the end or did I just begin? Hey. Show me. Show me. The cadence is crazy. Bro, the cadence is wild. His voice is perfect for this style of rap. He does just the swagger, bro. Just the swagger on the mic. It's like a different kind of swagger than I've than I've heard. You know what I'm saying? It might be because I know how he is as like a person. He's got the swagger. He's funny. You know, he's got like that. He's introspective. He's got a hold of his, of who he is as a person, and that like shines through on the on the tracks. It just shines through. And and thinking back, because we did Neverland Part 1 on stream as well. Thinking about what Never Neverland 1 sounded like. This this literally sounds like a sequel to that album. To me, sometimes sequel albums are kind of gimmicky. You know what I'm saying? Because they go and they name the album that they're putting out. They're calling it a sequel. So it's going to get people hyped around the album. Like, oh, you know, talking about it. Oh, he's calling it the sequel to his best album that he's ever had. Now I got to listen. So that's the feeling that I get with a lot of artists. But this literally sounds like a sequel to Neverland Part 1. And it sounds like a it sounds like he's had six years to improve his flow, too. Hey, Andy in here? No, he's not. Where's my boy at, huh? Andy, so far so good, my guy. The intro track was out of this world, son. Falling was a perfect follow-up to it. Next, we got Been About It. Hey, are you about it? Shh, don't ask me, bro. I've been about it. Been about it. Featuring that boy Lecrae. I'm a young man, get that what I came for. Hey. Cause I work hard, I got everything I prayed for. Hold up, hold up. This sounds like this sounds like the track with Dilly. Like the bounce of like the bounce of the 808. A... Well, you made what sample? This one right here? This first one? What's that sample from? Yeah, pump oh, pumped up the bass. Ooh. I'm a young man, get that what I came for. Cause I work hard, I got everything I pay for. Money came fast, so now I take my day slow. Hey, just like MJG and A ball. Talk that talk. I like that. 
like MJG and A Ball, bro. Hey, how about the fact that coming in hot was just went viral all of a sudden? A track that's like a couple years old. You had everybody using that song, bro. I think LeBron is your is your best A and R that you have because he used it first. Now I take my day slow. Me and Cray just like MJG and A Ball. I just bought the flowers on a weekday. Baby, why would I cheat? You my cheat day. Hey. You a treat. That's right. You a snack. Uh, fighting with your jeans because you got it like that. Well, okay. <laughs> Tell me what y'all fake. Mad about the day. Now I'm great because I remember when I ain't have a way on a date. On the hey, that little, that little like in the back. Oh my God. It's so nice on top of this heavy 808. Me on LeBron on the yacht right now. Y'all going to go pick up Curry? James, cause you got it like that. Damn, son, and Curry said that coming in hot is his favorite song. The best shooting, the best shooter the world, the, the league has ever seen. You a snack, uh, fighting with your jeans, cause you got it like that. Well, okay, tell me what y'all fake, mad about the day. Now I'm great, cause I remember when I ain't have a way. On a date, only had enough to pay for matinee. Hey. Straight, every morning feeling like a Saturday. Well, I'm Man said only had enough bread to be able to afford the matinee on a date. What are y'all fake complaining about now? Why are y'all even mad? You should be you should be happy you're in this in this world just being alive, living this human experience. What y'all mad about today, bro? Same, I can't stand it. Can't stand this cancel culture. Pay for matinee, now I'm straight. Every morning feeling like, like a Saturday. Saturday. Hey. Well, um, they doing nothing, got a lot to say. How you never had COVID, you still got no taste. So Ooh. girl, I used to date. She <laughs> pretend we was friends. She like OMG, no it's been a man. Tell me where you been, huh? Oh my god, that's just in the background when the beat comes out. Oh. How you how you never had COVID, but you still ain't got no taste, bro. How? How sweet. I used to day, she pretend we was friends. She like OMG, no it's been a man. Tell me where you been, huh? Been about it. Hey. Back up off me, man, it's getting crowded. Hey, when I'm in Cali, got it in and out of Oh, lot of goofy sinners. Hey, hey, what's that noise that's like floating, panning from my right to left ear? It sounds like a bell, but it doesn't sound like a bell. I don't know what that noise is. Right here. Hey, back up off me, man, it's getting crowded. Hey, when I'm in Cali, got it in and out of Oh, lot of goofy sinners. It's a school bell? That's dope. Getting brolic. Mm. At the party, we don't bother anybody. Like. Always kept it solid. You know, I always kept it solid. Bro, the sample is city in the place. The sample's crazy. And the way it comes in, and it's just like sitting back there in the back of the production, just like hanging out. It's like that dude at the back of the bar that's just there. You see, you know he's there. He's a regular. His presence is back there. Got the Bud Light in his hand. He's just at home, and you and you and you like him, and you like him at the bar. It makes the bar feel alive. Always kept it solid. You know, I always kept it solid. Riding through the city in the place I dwell. We just two hey. young fellas in the ATL. We don't never cause trouble when we out in the streets, but then whoop, whoop, that's the sound of, of the, the police. police. I was oh my. The sample, the sound of the police, and then it sounded like what's the car right there? Riding in the si riding through the hood in my six foe. That's what that sounded like with just like the hi hat and then that little bell note in the back. Place I dwell. We just that right there. young fellas in the ATL. We don't never cause trouble hard. when we out in the streets, but then whoop, whoop. That's, that's the, the sound, sound of the police. police. I was shook. He was shook. But mm. I kept it cool. Pulled us over on his shoulder just to say he dug the tombs. Then he let me off with a warning. We was on our way. 45 in a 50 till I hit the highway. Hey. Been about it. Glory to the father. I don't do the drama. I went vegan for the weekend. Now I'm back to beef and broccoli. Sipping sake. Back oh. to sabi sabi. I don't need a thotty. My girl got that body yachty. When we walk inside a the party, they like. I don't need a thotty. My girl got that body yachty, bro. We're only three tracks in and, 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 and it's heat. It's heat. This production is going stupid right now. Yo, I was about to ask and I was like, so did y'all get the clearance for this? So what happened? Because we were talking about it when we were listening to Leverland 1 on stream. I was like, ain't no way he got to get clearance just to mention something in a song. Because people mention and reference. I was like, there has to be something in the instrumentation that 
didn't get clearance. What was it that didn't have that clearance? Oh, we had to get the KRS one clearance. Oh, because you use the cadence, right? That's the sound of the police. Oh, okay. Cause you didn't just say it. You actually said it in the same cadence and delivery that he did. Handful of other bars we borrowed. Oh, okay. Okay. So because you were paying homage to the older, to, to KRS one and other tracks, you were actually using the bars instead of just referencing them. You were actually using them verbatim and you had to get clearance for that because of the, the intellectual property I'm assuming on it. KRS one, the only one we kept. Oh, so, the, so y'all, so y'all had to rewrite the, or at least he had to rewrite the entire thing. Look at that guys. We're getting background knowledge on what the issues were. They weren't verbatim, just referencing them. They were homage. Mm, so you still had to get the clearance. That's, it's kind of strange. Was it, was it the, was it the lawyers? at reach where is it, where is it being then was it them being like like hyper diligent and just saying like ah we should probably get clearance first or was it like no we actually have to have clearance but legally they could have come for us all right cool super nip okay that's what i had figured that's what i had figured told her just to say he dug the tunes then he let me off with a warning we was on our way 45 in a 50 till i hit the highway been about it glory to the father i don't do this drama i went vegan for the weekend now i'm back to beef and broccoli sipping sake practice bobby i don't need a thotty my girl got that body yachty when we walk inside the party they like omg no it's been a man tell me where you been huh been bro the school bell panning left to right is crazy and then the ooh, that's nice too What was that sample right there? I know that's not you talking about no WWF and, and like for reals. Been about it crazy. It got the bop like the track with Dilly. You as a kid? That's actually you talking about WWF superstars? Tag team belt champion of the world? Backyard wrestling clip, bruh. Is this whole album, because we're talking about Neverland and Neverland is obviously about being a kid at heart forever in terms of the movie Peter Pan. Is this whole thing gonna have samples of you as a kid? And we're just like going back on that nostalgia bro if that's the case that's like a whole nother level keep listening and find out what's gonna happen on the next episode of dragon ball z yo all right so so far intro track as an intro is a 10 falling is a nine that's probably about a nine too especially with the samples maybe the samples make it nine and a half not sure and then we got you know the drill worst played hey everybody's telling me to hop on the magic and bird i'm gonna have to do it eventually I, I literally don't listen to some of the albums that you've released because i know people want me to listen to them and get my commentary on it all right let's go we got you know the drill worst played i know i gotta listen to magic and bird bro Literally everybody tells me. Hey, uh, nothing set in stone, except the ring that's on the left hand. So that if you ever cheat, I would give you a second chance. What you mean? Man said nothing set in stone. Anything can change except for the ring on the left hand, bro. Never gonna give you up. Rick rolled us in that line and he didn't even know. Hey. Nothing set in stone, except the ring that's on the left hand. Told her if you ever cheat, I would give you a second chance. What you mean? Second chance, that's gonna be your next man. Can't have no one in them G9, I'm just your X Men. <laughs> I knew something about X Men was gonna come to bar. I would give you a second chance. What you mean? Second chance, that's gonna be your next man. Can't have no one in them G9, I'm just your no X Men. One in them if I'm cheating, a cheater girl be my next plan. Alimony in the ties, hold your head, fam. Don't know hey. where we from, better check, man. You ain't from New York, you a Nets fan. Oh, talk, <laughs> you ain't from New York, bro. You're a Nets fan. You from Jersey. Don't claim one of these five bros, bro. Stay over there. Hey, I can't believe Words Played is the age that he is when you had when when Andy had put on like, hey, happy, I forgot what birthday it is. Dude's entire energy and charisma is mad young. Alimony in the ties, hold your head, fam. Don't know where we from, better check, man. You ain't from New York, you a Nets fan. All talk, no walk, fessin'. Oh, you were trolling? How how old is he actually? How anybody know how old Worst Played is? I uh, you had me going. He's younger than you? Don't know where we from, <laughs> better check, man. You ain't from New York, you a Nets fan. All 
talk, no walk, Fessa X, man. Streets to lift you up and shoot you down. Look at X, man. Man said, all talk, no walk, Professor X, man. I cannot believe that was the bar right there, bro. <laughs> no walk, Fessor X, man. Streets to lift you up and shoot you down. Look at X, man. All Ooh. dogs go to heaven. Rest in peace to X, man. All Dog, he said streets will lift you up and shoot you down. Look at X. I'm assuming XX. Oh, not XXX. I'm assuming DMX. Actually, both. Nah, literally shoot you down. That's got to be a reference to XXX. Pride coming from my pride. Feel like stead, man. Oh, that distortion, and it's gonna come back in. Yeah, you know the drill. Ooh. You know the drill. Oh, Professor X, bro. Okay, that makes more sense since we're paying homage to a little bit of older school hip hop. Professor X. Anybody that doesn't know who Professor X is, go listen to Yellow Brick Road. Yellow Brick Road by Eminem off Encore. Yeah, you know the drill. Bro, that's crazy. That's nice. You know the drill. You know the drill. I'm a tip top shake. They ain't tick top shake. I'm a big spot. You know the drill. Back at him with another one. God made me, I'm a one on one. Out in Cali on the one on one. But New York is where I'm coming from. Big league things that's bubble gum, bro. Let me tell you who else had big league chew when you was out there playing sports and then you put it in your lip like you're dipping because we're trying to be like these OGs, we're trying to be like Mark McGuire. And we put this big ass thing of, of big league chew and then spit like, like it's actually causing us to water our mouths hard. Big Apple Big League Chew do hit different. Honey grand, that's a honey bun. Me and words going dumb and dumb. Big League things, bubble gum. Get it jumping like it's double dutch. Boss of things you can't like double dutch. Now you got a lot of maintain. I know pride and insecurity, the same thing. If you was called, you'd have probably done the same thing. If you trade your queen for a pawn, something wrong. So the time, one time, now we talking like each chopper. I don't mean a lake, say I'm dipping in the towel. Greatest hey. on the man. I just talked to Jesus, bruh. This what you're doing on this mic? This is what I died for, bro. Oh. Like Sam dipping in the towel. Greatness on the man is that is that, is that guy flow. I just talked to Jesus. He said this is what I die for. That little cadence right there too. How long did it take you to come up with that Jesus? Cuz ain't no way that you spit that on the first go. When you had to like you had to experiment with cadences and then said just the one right here. That was hot. Like Sam dipping in the Greatness on the man is that is that, is that God flow. I just told the Jesus, he said, This is what I die for. If you think I changed, it's the outfit. Shout sweat suit, just a lounge around the house with King Jazz said, You gotta experiment. Bounce with. Just might drop a part two, no announcement. Words play. He just said there might be a bird in magic, too. No announcement. We just gonna drop it. We about to pull. A Kendrick and just drop drop the album and not even say nothing about it. The the you know what makes you know what makes this uh worst played Andy a special collab is because they always do that back and forth type of rap that I've seen. Like they'll have it, they'll have verses, like whole verses on some tracks, but sometimes it's like this where they're just boom, 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 like bouncing back and forth. That's nice. Just might drop a part two, no announcement. No announcement. Play, only fear guy and the count I don't need no friends because Jesus died with two thugs on the mountain, bro. Bars. I mean, I don't know what, what, what else you want me to say. Magic and bird. The rivalry continues. Oh, not the yeah, sample. You know the uh, oh, the distortion up into the 808 drop and then hoo, 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 in between my ears. Yeah, you know the drill. That's hard, bro. <laughs> Is 
distortion? You know the drill. What you make that with? So what is what actually is the noise before you distorted it? Like what got you to that sound? You know the drill. I'm a tip top shake. They ain't tick top shake. I'm a fix my but you know the drill. You know the you know the you know the Not the pitch bend eight oh eight drill inspiration. And then with the with the hi hat going crazy at at the top, that's the beat with a filter boy filter and a de, oh decapitator from Sound Toys. You just gotta like tinker with things until you find what like what sounds good for the rest of the song. But that drill beat right there, for those that don't know, I'm like mad into drill right now, especially UK drill. Mm, that's why I think Fabio Foreign had the best track on Donda. That track could have just been Fabio's and Kanye West not even been on it off the grid, and I would have been like, this is fire. They ain't you know the drill. You know the. You oh, know that's hard, bro. You know the. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Bro. When he was like 15, I remember one time he was talking to one of his friends on a phone. They were making a record. He was hollering and yelling at them, saying, "You get over here. You got an obligation. You got." The... And I'm sitting there, and I said, "Honey, you're only 15 years old." Um. Maybe you ought to relax. The first four tracks, Am I as an intro? Crazy. Falling as the follow-up to Am I Falling? Crazy. And then we got LeGray, LeGray, LeCray and Words Played right out the gate, which are like the bread and butter. They're like the, the Trinity right there. Just all that within the first four tracks. Literally coming in hot like the fajitas, bro. So what y'all thinking? How we how we feeling about the album as a whole? Our boy Andy is out here in stream giving us these little tips, giving us these little fun facts. Andy is basically doing right here in chat what the entire Happy Thoughts theme was about with like the little fun facts that pop up. That's what he's doing right here. One to 10, what are we at? One, one, six out of 10 to be corny. Solstice, that might've been the corniest thing I've ever seen in my chat before, but I'm gonna allow it. 10 out of 10, 10 out of 10, 6 out of 6. Hey, at least I called it 9 out of 5 out of 10. Only going up from here. Strong 8 so far, Oiba or Oiba. I'm with you. Right now, this is like a 9 for me. Especially, it might be a 9.5 because obviously the production is crazy. Um, but I like the I like the whole got his mom on the track and got his like got him from his childhood. So it's all fitting the very never land, never want to grow up a boy on the inside, but still handling my own on the outside. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm feeling solid about it. 100%. Let's keep going. Work on it. Chandler Moore and Taylor Hill. Say I'm impatient. You say I'm forgetful. You say that I'm too well. At least our life will fail for. Yeah, I complicate things when they... Is that an organ in the background that's distorted? But it also kind of sounds like, like choir harmonies. That's also crazy distorted. I'm too Oregon. I'm no good at saying I was wrong. All right, right out the gate, this reminds me of Issues by uh, Baby Keem. It just has that same vibe about it, like melancholic, a little somber. It's nowhere near as right out the gate, at least the first 15 seconds of the song. It's nowhere near as upbeat as the first four tracks. It's a nice little change of pace. The vocal's crazy. Baby, please tell me something that I don't know. I'm no good at saying I was Those 808s wrong. are nice. I've always been the one to say you are. I know what you want, it's always more. I've been working on it. Not Andy singing on his album. Singing. Let's go, bro. This is a never mind. It's not issues anymore. Issues is so much slower than this. I've always been the one to say you are. I know what you want. It's always more. Hey. I've been working on it. Bro, that vocal distortion right there before we drop into the into the in the transition in the instrumental. I know Crazy. what you want. It's always more. Here one more time. I've been working on it. Woo! At least you know I'm always inconsistent. You say that my phone just like my mistress. Then you try to say I never listen. Damn. You said I missed it. Yeah. 
You say that my phone is like my mistress because I pay more attention to it than I do to you. Oh, what well, what you say? Sorry, I missed it. I was on my phone. Oh, that's nice, bro. Super nice. Then you try to say I never listen. What you said I missed it. Yeah. You say I'm impatient. You say I'm forgetful. You say that I'm too wild. At least that distortion on the clap too is nice. Something that I don't know. Oh my god, bro. This sounds like house music. Like not not EDM, specifically house music. It has that like little bounce and that bop to it where it's just a just a feel good euphoric feeling. You know what I'm saying? And do you saying you making the co coasters out of the CDs that you couldn't sell? Is that what's happening? Bro, that's a solid idea. I'm telling you, if I had pre-ordered the physical CD, you know what it's like? You know what happened with the album, what the what the artwork would have been like? Anybody remember when Banksy had his uh, the shredder um, of uh, during the during the Sotheby uh, auction, and after it got sold, he shredded it halfway down. That's what it would have been like if you had shipped out the artwork without the album. If you shipped it out without the artwork without the album, it would have been like it would have been like, damn, when did when has this ever happened? I, I'll never have a piece of artwork from something that I pre-ordered from an artist that couldn't get the clearance. So now I just have the artwork for the digital album physically. That would have been hard. This track going crazy, bro. Check my IG and show them what we're doing with the CDs. <laughs> That's fire, bro. I don't know if y'all can see it. I don't know if I could even pull it up on the computer. Physical CDs, let me put them in front of my face so it doesn't. They're writing, do not play, stream the album. So you're still gonna get the CD, but you're just gonna have writing on it so it doesn't actually play. Bro, that's an amazing idea. How are you telling me to update the song title when we're halfway through? I need y'all to be on that. That's a good idea though, because everybody can still get the physicals and then now it's, you just have a CD that you can't do anything with. The 808 right here though, the way the, the, way the cadence and the melody matches the 808 bending down, working on it. That's hard. On time, and you mad because it should have been your time. Huh. Yeah, I know I'm a workaholic, but I've been working, working on it. Oh. At least you know I'm always inconsistent. Woo. You say that my phone just like my mistress. Then you try to say I never listen. What you said, I missed it. Yeah, you say hey, Andy, how many production elements like in? I was going to say Fruity Loops, like in Logic or in like whatever, whatever software it is that you use. How many elements are in this production? At the peak of everything playing at the same time, how many different levels of instrumentation is there? Because it sounds like it's extremely like dense and complex, but it all sounds solid. You know what I'm saying? I'm mistress, then you try 76 to say sounds? I never listen, what you said, I missed it. Yeah. You say I'm a 76. Bro, this track is probably my favorite on the album so far. Just because it's such a difference in like sonically than the rest of the album. The rest of the album is like true hip hop. This is like an experimentation type of track that's just all working. This one has four different versions, changed it so many times. When you got that many instrument, like when you got that many stack, like how could you not change it so many times? This is one of those ones where like the artist is never going to be satisfied with it, but I'm satisfied enough to put it out. Uh, 
Ah, uh, yeah, this will be on YouTube. This this full this full video will be on YouTube. Check out that sub base at the drop coming up. Or right, I bet. Yeah. You know what I like about the production? It sounds like it sounds like you cut off parts of like cut off parts as the guy as the as the choir in the background is singing. It sounds like it's stuttering a little bit. It could just be like the volume ramping up at the very beginning quickly of, of like each word. You know what I'm saying? I don't know how to explain it. It sounds like working on like that. You know what I'm clap was crazy I, when the when the when everything dropped out you know what it was to call me off guard when everything dropped out and i heard that the clap hit i was expecting a four measure bar of just the clap and then we were going to drop into it i wasn't expecting it to hit like as soon as the clap was done right boom right into it a good song like a good movie After this, all right, let me tell y'all something. If you were at EDC and Cascades going ham on his set, you're in a sea of 55,000 people, everybody there just vibing, and then out of nowhere, you hear this drop, bro. I'm liable to have to go to the medic tent right after that. I'm, my, I'm getting hyped up just thinking about that being at Las Vegas Waste Raceway, kinetic field. Cascade on the on, on the joints, on the ones and twos, literally. Ones, twos, threes, and fours, technically. And then this drop comes out. That's my favorite song on the track. I don't yeah, I mean there's no skips. There's literally no skips on the album. We're five. We're going on to track six. Also, I don't know if you were here, Andy, when I said it earlier. I appreciate the fact that the track is 39 or that album's 39 minutes. It reminds me of Lincoln Park, bro. It it reminds me of like Lincoln Park. R.I.P. Chester. Between Hybrid Theory and Meteora, they went four and a half years. And each album was only 33 to 35 minutes long. And every track, a banger. You know, like that's what I need. I, I would rather you wait three years between albums instead of putting out like an LP every single year. I think that's kind of the problem with music now is that it's, I don't know if it's like in the days of social media that everybody needs to be in front of people all the time. So they're putting out an album every year. There ain't no way. I don't care how good of an artist you are. Ain't no way you're not going to have filler by putting out an album every year. That's just my personal opinion on people who put on full length 16 track LPs once a year. Ain't no way it's possible. Solid favorite track on the album Chandler. It was Chandler the dude who had like the like the whispering falsetto or was that Taylor Hill? Nah, but he got to drop every you No, what I'm saying Lil is like an LP. I don't think she'd drop every year. I was literally just talking with Andy on his live yesterday. I was like, EPs are good to stay in front of people and, you know, have some good solid vibes out there. But LP should only come every once in a while. Chandler is on the outro with the crazy runs. OK, OK, bet. I'm excited to get to this Joseph Solomon, though. Not going to lie. I follow him on YouTube. Dude's crazy with it. All right. Next up, let me change the title before we move forward, because since y'all guys aren't reminding me, y'all aren't doing y'all's job out there. New father. I'm going to take a stab in the dark and I could be completely wrong. I'm going to say new father is about Christ or God, considering that our boy Andy here uh, was just single mother. So like he got a new father in replace of the one that was absent. That's just a guess. You know, I'm, I'm reading it based off of the title. I'm, re I'm judging the book by its cover, but we'll see. He was about four years old and I'm completely wrong from his dad. And he, he was a chubby little kid, you know, he knelt down next to the bed and he says, Mom, I know what we can pray for. 
I said, what would you like to pray for? He said, a new father. Damn. He was so excited. And um, he just put his little head down and he prayed just a simple little prayer. And he asked God for a new father. He got up and he just smiled at me. And I looked up to heaven and I said, Lord, what are you going to do about that prayer? Yo, these little tidbits of your mom's son, these are adding a whole nother level of like emotional ties to the album. You know what I'm saying? It's like letting us into see a portion of your world that nobody else ever sees. I can understand how putting that kind of thing would be extremely vulnerable or extremely nerve wracking on an album. It's just like a very sentimental, personal, vulnerable moment. And at that point in your life, you didn't know that it was that vulnerable. You had no idea. And then hearing your mom say it as an adult, these interludes and the intros are doing it for me. Next up, we got Nobody's Coming. Oh, new father to Nobody's Coming? I'm not gonna make any guesses, but we'll see. And this is when I cried the first time, hey, Pix. Oh. I've been waiting for the day when my father come around. Waiting for that moment when we would paint the town, but then he dog hit me last night. Nobody's coming. Ah. Uh, I've been waiting for that moment when my heart. That doom down. That was nice. Little production moment. Night. Nobody's coming. Doom. I've been waiting nice. for that moment when my heart heals. Waiting for someone to take away the pain that I feel. Then it all hit me last night. Nobody's coming. But why should I dwell on the things I can't change? One to ten, Andy. How much auto tune is on your voice right now? Just curious. Because it sounds solid. I will I always say this about your vocal tone and texture is that like kind of reminds me of a J. Cole. You're not a singer but you can pull it off in your hooks and you can pull it off enough to where it sounds solid. Andy Cole. <laughs> what if I'm the answer for things that I've prayed? Hey. All I know is if nothing changes before I'm gone, I got no one else I could blame it on. Yup. And we've been waiting way too long. What if we're the ones that were waiting on? What you waiting for? I've been waiting on peace, but I just bought a piece. One under the bed and one under the seat. I, I say this in one of my other videos. I think it was a viewer, Lecrae, when we were reviewing music on the channel. That gun right there, AR-15, I had somebody comment in the in the comment section uh, of, on YouTube when I, when I uploaded it. What are you trying to be, some kind of gangster Christian? And I was like, I guarantee you, some of your favorite CHH artists have an arsenal. <laughs> like... What does that have to do with anything? I forgot what, what you said. What if I'm the answer? Oh, you said, what if I'm the answer to all the prayers that I've been putting out there in the world? What if at the end of the day, if nothing goes the way that I want it to, it's nobody's fault but my own. And that's the way you could look at it. You can either dwell on the past. You can deal with those past emotions, but not let it change who you are forward. If nothing changes before I'm gone, I got no one else I could blame it on. And we've been waiting it way was on, too it could be long. Worse. What if we're the ones that we're waiting on? What you waiting for? I've been waiting I was expecting on a drop peace, right there. but I just bought a piece. One under the bed and one, one under, under the, the seat. seat. Mm. I don't know if I'm right or wrong, but it helps me sleep. I this is giving me big time John Bellion vibes right now. 100%. Like that level of emotion. You know what I'm saying? That level of scaled back production. And one under the seat. I don't know if I'm right or wrong, but it helps me sleep. I've been waiting for the day when the cops don't shoot. When they feel safe enough not to wear them bulletproofs. Hey. I don't know who is right or wrong, but I sure can't sleep. But why should I dwell on the things I can't change? Mm. What if I'm the answer for things that I've prayed? All I know is. Hey, so Andy, you sent it to John and he gave you some feedback on it. 
I don't know if you want to elaborate in chat, but we have hella amount of John Bellion fans, and obviously that kind of they kind of tie in together with a fan of you because y'all have worked together. See, right there, I love John Bellion right out the gate. What kind of feedback did he give you on it? Like, like what did he did he say anything? Did he say like, hey, you're on the right track, or was it like, hey, I would do this, I would do this instead, and you took it into you took it into the track and we're like, okay, I'm going to use this feedback and I'm going to change it to sound like we get in the album. This is great. I have no notes. Respectable, big time. John Bellion is, bro, he is something else, this guy. I say it, I don't I don't, I don't know if you've seen the videos or, or what, but every time I do a John song and it sounds like when I'm listening to a song of his versus a song that he writes for somebody else, it's like two completely different artists. He writes songs that are going to be top 40 for other people. And then he experiments with his own sound for his core fan base. It's so dope. It's like seeing two sides of the same coin. I had a trap drop at the end and he was like, do something different. Don't do the trap drop because it's too expected. That's why the drum pattern at the end is kind of wild. I guys at the end of this track, John Bellion had a hand in it. On the things I can't change. What if I'm the answer for things that I've prayed? All I know is If nothing changes before I'm gone I got no one nah, else you you, I bro. can blame it on and I appreciate you coming through for a little bit We'll still be here more than likely But appreciate it Appreciate you giving the insight on the album Everybody's, you know, thank Andy Minio for popping in and being on stream The artist himself Super dope. What a time to be alive. 2021. You know what I'm saying? I could blame it on. And we've been waiting way too long. What if we're the ones that we're waiting on? What you waiting for? If nothing oh. changes before I'm gone, I got no one else I could blame it on. I might just have to be what I never had for me. Bar. Everyone, everyone smile for the family photo. I might just have to be what I never had for me. I might just have to be what I never had for me. Oh my god, that distortion. At least 10 people in this world are going to get that tatted on their body. I might have to be what I never had for me. That moment right there at the end reminds me of Runaway from Kanye West when he's like singing into the auto tune. You know what I'm saying? Also, the end of Pyramids from, from uh, Frank Ocean. Hey, Andy, that was crazy. The guitar distortion, you can you can clearly hear it. I appreciate you being here, yo. That drop, by the way, so much better than if it was a trap drop because it would have changed the whole sound. It would have been more like a rap song that had, a, had had like an acoustic opening. Now it's not even a rap song. It's just like, it's just a song. It, like it doesn't it doesn't it doesn't sound like it would be part of a hip-hop album fire yo everyone thank andy for showing up for a bit super dope to have you in here my guy thanks for being on the live thanks for retweeting and putting it on your uh, story it's fire we got 230 people in this thing this this is the amount of people that we had for donda i don't know if y'all remember the amount of people we had for the donda album review is the amount of people we have for andy minio right now super crazy all right not a single miss for me how are y'all feeling let me know what the deal is that nobody's coming is crazy nobody's coming all right so look it's like we've had two chapters in the album am i falling been around you know the drill chapter one working on it new father nobody's coming chapter two it's crazy that that's i don't know if that was intentional it might have been because you know obviously curation of album makes a difference but yeah this is fire bro not a single miss this is crazy all right next up we got remind me featuring juke i'm assuming that's what it is with a v though i wish andy was on here still i wanted to hear more what his wife thinks about remind me hey it was it was nice of him to be here while he could 
Um, and maybe he'll come back. Who knows if we're still on the album. Prime sub stand up. Run that back, yours. Run that back, yours. And bro, the instrument, the, the production on the entire album has been flawless, son. The heavy 808 right here with the heavy Southern hi-hats, like they're extremely loud in the production. On top of that super angelic, like acoustic guitar plucking. And then this guy's voice is mad high. You know, it's just like a perfect duality between very dark production and heavy handed and very light and airy and serene, you know, vibes up top. Sometimes you be talking to me like I am a kid. Sometimes you be talking to me like I got no head. Sometimes hey. I be talking back to you the way you did. Next thing you know, we just coming at each other's neck. Right back. Bro, it's just this is just the this is just the nature of people who are I'm assuming he's talking about his relationship with his wife, uh conversations with my wife type beat. I dreamt I slept on the sidewalk. You still lay with me. It's dope that to put that vulnerability out there, bro. Because obviously when we're on socials, when we see the wife, when we see Andy, when we see them vibing, cracking jokes, we see the good. That's the problem with social media. It's it's not the problem. It's what we love about it. It brings us closer together. But that's the problem about what people expect is reality because of social media. The reality is that Andy and his wife argue just like any other couple. But why would they post that? So it's dope that we get that vulnerability. We get that stripped down raw human it's just like part of the human experience you know what i'm saying it's fire bro what i was gonna say though a hey, when the when the wife takes a tone and then you take that same tone and then they're like you know what i don't like that tone be thrown in this direction better change that tone and then you're like you do it first whole ass mexican standoff bro me sometimes you be talking to me like i am a kid sometimes you be talking to me like i got no head Sometimes I'll be talking back to you the way you did. Next thing you know, we just coming at each other's neck. Hey. Right back where we started, it's like we ain't even try. I don't even get mad anymore, I'm just tired. Hey. All the things you saying, it be messing with my pride. Then you know the drill, I shut you out and go cry. I oh, I shut you out and go cry? Oh, that's so heavy because he knows that that's not going to be the productive move in the relationship, but that's the move that protects his pride and protects him as a person. And that's normally not going to be, that's like that silent tri treatment type beat that doesn't work. That doesn't heal any riff in a relationship, but it's like the only thing that I know how to do instinctually when it's fight or flight, I don't want to hurt you. So I close up on the inside. Oh, go quiet. He is still in here. Even, even so, that's what I'm saying. Like, even if you go quiet, that silent, that silent mode, like, I don't want to say anything that's going to potentially hurt, but not saying anything on a productive level also hurts. I don't even get mad anymore. I'm just tired. All the things you saying, it be messing with my pride. Then you know the drill, I shut you out and go quiet. Go quiet, I don't want your sorrows. I want you to change. For more than one day. Before we write back to the same thing, same time. I forget you love. That's the, the every every feature every every singer or every you know who's features on the album they all like add to the add to the production you know their vo their vocal tone matches whatever the vibe of the song is juke here i'm assuming is the one on the feature it might not have worked on working on it because we already had a higher pitch but him on his own on this track works and i know the way joseph solomon sounds so I'm, I'm excited to see what that track's about. But this one right here, I'm telling you, bro, this is like a whole nother chapter in the album. You know what I'm saying? Like the first four tracks, fire. And then this next four tracks, a little more introspective. It's just, it's just, do it's just a dope curation from one to one to one to eight so far. It hurts so bad if I ain't kiss so much. Yo, we 
I carry weight, that's why I'm feeling oh, crushed. Oh, Jake, it's not Juke, it's Jake. Now I why people rather fall in lust. That makes sense, it's Jake. It's hard to go from doing me to doing us. Oh, he said, now I get why it's hard for people to fall in love. It's hard to go from doing me to doing us. Super random uh, reference I'm about to make right here. Usher on his Here I Am or Here I Stand album. He had a track with uh, Jay-Z on there. And Jay-Z says, says something similar where he's like, how am I going to go from being here to, you know, splitting the closet with another person by half and having half the space, yada, yada, yada. You get so used to just doing it on your own. And now you got to like, out of nowhere accommodate this other person remind me what it hurts so bad if i ain't kiss so much yo we carry weight that's why i'm feeling crushed now i get why people rather fall in lust it's hard to go from doing me to doing us be looking bad how you acting is ugly i can get so mad i don't want you to touch me how can we make love when i don't feel like you love me ain't nobody told me love isn't always lovely ain't nobody tell me love isn't always lovely bro I get so mad to the point where I don't even want you to touch me. We could be making love, but I feel like you don't even love me. Oh, that vulnerability, son. You know what this reminds me of? This kind of sounds like bittersweet from Kanye West. Not production wise, like the sound of like, it's a bittersweet thing to be in this relationship. You know, I can get so mad. I don't want you to touch me. How can we make love when I don't feel like you love me? Ain't nobody told me love isn't always lovely. Mm. I don't want your sorries. The hi hat going I crazy. You to change. For I don't want your sorries. I want you to change. I want your sorries. I want you to change. Mm. For more than one day. Before we write back to the same thing Sometimes I forget your love Forget mm. your time Now shh, up into the clap And then moves the production along, that's nice Thanks. Sometimes I forget your love Mistaken. You gotta remind me. Y'all heard that? You got, you got, you gotta remind me. Hard, bro. Sometimes I forget your love, forget your touch. Yeah, you got, you got, you gotta remind me. Bro, that track, it's like a different type of introspective track. Because obviously nobody's coming is introspective. Working on it is introspective. But that track right there, exposing like you're so vulnerably, it's not even just exposing yourself vulnerably, exposing the relationship that is normally as private as possible. I mean, we still see the relationship on social media, but exposing the exposing the imperfection of the relationship. That's crazy, bro. It doesn't matter how good y'all are compatible it doesn't matter if i mean your wife your girlfriend your wife for sure should be your best friend but that doesn't matter in the long run as well because i mean it does matter but it's it's not going to stop you from not having arguments not having arguments is completely unhealthy that means somebody's bottling something up so the fact that he's exposing that and saying like hey you know we go through it too it's the type of track where people who are going through it in a relationship they can hear and then they're gonna be like oh is this the way my partner feels when we fight you know maybe if this is what maybe we should have some communication if this is actually the way he or she feels it's fire bro the whole album the album's crazy all right next up not gonna do this one's fire bro joseph solomon i'm telling you i follow him on i'm subscribed to him on youtube his voice is insane son like insane like in the membrane that's how insane his voice is. Here's what we're not gonna do if we in love. Then my phone gonna trust me. Ah, baby, lately you be loving me. No, no, no. Yeah, here's what we not gonna do. Move to LA, then dye my hair blue. Fire up the lobby to stick a glue. Y'all be doing anything to get a million views. Mommy, here's what you. Slide into my DM with those nudes. Nope. I wrote back, my wife got those two. Hey. And I'ma take hers if I had to choose. I'm telling you what we're not gonna do. We're not gonna be ourselves just for the sake of being famous. Being famous is terrible, but what comes with the fame is not so terrible. 
but I'm telling you, I ain't gonna fall for that. I'm not gonna fall victim to the fame. Slide into my DM with oh, those oh, news. Oh, 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 this was produced by you? Ooh -hoo. Okay, the whole thing is produced by you, Andy. We out here. I'm gonna tell you what we're not gonna do. Not gonna not give you producer credit, you know what I'm saying? I wrote back, my wife got those two. And I'ma take hers if I had to choose. Here's what we buy ten name brands, spend like ten thou. Wear nope. it all at once, pretend you got style. Just cause you're paid don't mean you got taste. That triple fat goose down jacket though, stupid expensive. I looked it up after I heard the lyric and I was like, nah. I'll tell you what we not gonna do is we not go about to spend three hundred and ninety dollars on a jacket. And spend like ten thou. Wear it all at once. Pretend you got style. Just cause you're paid don't mean you got taste. It is what we right guy first in my profile. Then live my whole life like Satan child. If anybody say something, now they hate it. Wow. I wanna apologize for Oh yeah. Tryna throw shade on me, say I bought you. I'm not going to apologize for feeling some type of way. That's on you, son. I'm not going to apologize for telling you the truth. It might be harsh. It might be brash, but we're going to be good, though. We're going to be good over here. You need to figure it out over there on your own side. But the vocal stacking right here with Andy a little lower, and then we have, like, the vocal stacking. I don't know if that's a female or what in the sides or if it's just pitched up the vocals. It's crazy, bro. And then that, and then the hat. The hi-hat is really what's, like, giving the, giving the track life. Because you feel so And I wish you saw Chanel the way you saw me. The things you told Chanel, I wish that's how you taught me. That raw, that honesty. Chanel with it. No, I can't do it. Pose for the pick when I'm trying to get food. Especially I know I'm in a terrible mood. Mm. Then they go and tell the news I'm a terrible dude. Nah, here's what we Start throwing my feelings in the timeline. Then me mad cause somebody getting shine shine. Better back, back it up like Juvie in the 9-9. Nah, 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 hey, 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 better back it up like Juvie in the 9-9. What y'all know about that track? Then me mad cause somebody getting shine shine. Better back, back it up like Juvie in the 9-9. Now nah, 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 here's what we Spend not gonna do money on brand new J's. Go and take a loan from the SBA Just for the trip down to Miami Dade Like Wade, hold up Wonder if they ever gonna change Girl, nope. I put a gold record in a frame So what? Security nope. guards at the game Know us, I'm in my own lane doing donuts Then I slide For my A1s, get them A5 Told my J-Lo I ain't going A-Rod Cause I gotta play book that I gotta play by A Is that another reference to Wagyu Beef in, in the same album? Slide in my A1s and my Air Force Ones to get that A5? Record in a frame, so what? Security. And he said the gold record in a frame, so what, bro? It's just a record. It's just a plaque. None of this stuff matters. Hey, any of y'all seen that video um, of Mike Tyson getting interviewed in his house and he has all his awards and all his gloves laid out and he's like, none of this means anything. He's like, when you're a kid, you think that this means everything. But as you grow up, when you have children, as you get older, you'll realize that nothing, none of this means anything. All that means everything is happiness. Mike Tyson's that dude, bro. Take a loan from the SBA Just for the trip down to Miami Dade Like Wade, hold up Wonder if they ever gonna change Grow up, I put a gold record in a frame So what? Security guards at the game Know us, I'm in my own lane doing donuts Hey. Then I slide For my A1s, get them A5 Told my J-Lo I ain't going A-Rod Cause I gotta play book that I gotta play by A Told my J-Lo that I ain't going A-Rod, bro Cause I got a playbook that I, got, I gotta play by that's nice. This production is like uplifting. It's got a it's got a like lighter bounce than the last three songs, but it's still got like that heavier like like this this is this is a core belief and uh, this is a core foundation of who I am as a person. Let me tell you what we're not gonna do. We're not gonna let the fame overtake who we are. We're not gonna let the fame overtake the happiness. For my A ones, get them A five. Told my J Lo, I ain't going A rock cause I gotta play book that I gotta play by. Hey. That 
that little like half drum fill right there that was nice but the not gonna do feature the not gonna do sample crazy Coco Chanel with it. No, I can't do it. that's a crazy feature bro that's a crazy sample is what we Turns out it's Andy. Somebody did this in their album. I forget who it is. I, I figured it was this. I figured that was Solomon on the sample, Andy, because it's I mean, I know his voice just from being a uh, fan of on, like on his channel. But it's crazy that like the sample sounds like it's an older sample. I don't know if it's the texture of his voice or the way that y'all produced it. It sounds like it's a 70s sample, like but obviously I recorded it right in right then and there. All right, I got to hop out again. All right, Andy. Later, my guy. Who did this? Who did this on the album? This little like halftime. as he went through school that he he got away you know from the things of god and we tried take him into youth groups and stuff but he was interested in rap hey you know what that reminded me right there when it went right 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 like at the end it reminds me of kanye on uh on college dropout when he's like i was like hey you think we can still get that deal with rockefeller you know what i'm talking about that's a fire story at the end of that song too this is gonna be a far fresh thing so i don't i mean i don't want y'all to think that I'm putting Eminem and Andy or and Andy and Eminem because they're clearly two different style of rappers, but they kind of had that same like come up in terms of battle rap, in terms of rapping at school and like finding their own way. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy how having a passion for something and you put yourself fully into that passion. And a lot of people aren't going to understand, especially, especially something like uh music where it's like, only the 1% of the 1% make it to be able to be successful in music. To be, to put your entire passion into that and then you make it crazy. Obviously we've heard it could be worse, but we going to vibe again cuz it's a bop. Anybody have a skip on the track so far? I don't know if I like that track as much as the rest of the album. Anybody have a vibe like that? If so, I want to know what track. N F over M Death Slayer. No skips. I got no skips on the album at all right now. Um, Neverland 2 over Donda. Oh, Ghost. That's a hot take. Stop the cap, Kyler. Uh, no skips for me. The whole album is like a 9, 9.2 for me at the moment. Um, it might be even higher. This might be one of my higher rated albums. It's not even because Andy was watching. Just like like this track, this whole album in general. The horns on this track get me. Yeah, I hit the gym, just open up again, Reza, he loaded me up with two plates Then Aye. I went home, baby, she made me a meal, she loaded, loaded me, me up with two plates, plates. Jump on a whip, registered that in GA, I had to go get me new plates I just bought a crib, had to move out of New York, I'm really enjoying the space Jump on a stick, pray that I don't gotta use it, but I got it there just in case You know yep. what it is, people be I got the stick, I pray I don't have to use it, but I got it there just in case It helps me sleep at night I'm really enjoying the space. Jump on a stick. Pray that I don't gotta use it, but I got it there just in case. You know what it is. People be talking online, but never say that to my face. No. Nope. Look at my wrist. Ain't nothing on it just yet. Everything got its time and its place. If they uh. do a fit, when you tell them no, that's how you know they ain't respect you off wrist. Bro, so hard. Look at my wrist. I ain't got nothing on it, but I'm just telling you, everything got its time and its place. And right now, that time and place is not the rolly on the wrist. If they throw a fit, when you tell them no, that's how you know they ain't respect you off wrist. Man, it's a trip. But hey, it could be worse. Ooh. Say it again for them in the back so they know for sure. It, it could be, be worse. And life, life is hard, hard, I thank God. It could be worse. Hard, bro. Life is hard, I thank God. It could be worse. See how like this this whole entire working on it, new father, nobody's coming, remind me, not going to do. That's like an entire part B of the album. Like the first four are part A. This is part B, and now we're moving on. The sound has changed back into that, into like the higher pitch, higher energy. Not higher pitch, but like higher energy. Way, 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 way. Look, 
It could be worse. Used to be scared of the first. I used to pack up the merch, go do the show. Had to put square on my phone. I used to pray that it work. It ain't always work. I used to play it. Hey, that clap, whatever it is, it sounds like a wood, like a like a like a drumstick hitting a wooden mallet. Hard. Church, that didn't come with no perks. Hey, what's the verse? Come to me all over thirsty. Got living water for sure. Mine was a nurse. Had a whole life in the purse. And the high hat's coming back in. Taking the waiter right to the table. She asked me, what do I want for dessert? I told her, surprise me. Ain't much surprise me, man. All of my hills be wildin', man. Look at what happened to Cosby, man. Look mm. at what happened to Ravi, damn. Nah, trying to make sure that it's not me, man. Whole life in Agni, man. How I'ma run when temptation come, it got me, man. Ooh. Hey. It could be worse. It could be worse. Life is hard. But I thank God. It could be worse. Life, Life is hard. I thank God. It could be worse. Way, 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 way worse. I thank God. It could be worse. Such a hard track, bro. that he called me up and told me that he met this beautiful girl and damn when i heard him talking about her you know i like started crying because that's the way a man should feel about his woman mm. we didn't really pause it too much we didn't talk about the lyrics too much on it could be worse because we done heard it it's been out for what like a, a month month and a half at this point it's a fire track bro it, it could be worse was a solid lead single into the album um it kind of got you with like the lyrical content is like pretty much the whole album is basically what the lyrical content of it could be worse is like the like the optimistic view of life even with all the issues that have been gone on absent father um me and the wife arguing you know what i'm saying like we're still it could be worse at the end of the day it's fire son that track is track is hard all right next up priorities we're moving right along ladies and gentlemen Is that like a small heart? Priorities. Like what come first and what come last? Like what's right now and what's gon' last? I'll get back to you one day if you ain't my day one. I don't got time, but for you, I'll make some goods. You know your mind. Priority. What's on your mind? Priority. What come first? That little 808 in the, it's kind of like more to my right ear, I feel like. It's not dead center. Some girls, you know your mind. Priority. Yeah. What's on your mind? Priority. Welcome first, welcome last. Time been moving, but it's way too fast. You know your mind. Priority. Yeah, mm. I gotta look. What comes first? What comes last? What comes next? Time moving faster than we thought. You know you're my priority. Yo, Ernest, we gonna link at the Houston concert. Jonah, I do have to get my ticket still, but yes, I'm trying. I'm trying to see whoever's whoever's trying to meet. You know what I'm saying? Not my meet and greet, but I'm down to like see people who watch me there. But that little harp in the background, is it a harp? It sounds like a really small harp, like the ones that the angels have. Time and got a lot of dreams. I can't be out of giving everybody everything. I really want to do it for him because my heart big. When I see the wedding ring emoji, I don't let it ring. Not me. Never really. When I see the wedding ring emoji, I don't let it ring. Everything. I really want to do it for him because my heart big. When I see the wedding ring emoji, I don't let it ring. Not me. Never really had a problem being bored. Always feeling like my day a little too short. I still be balling when I go show up at the court, but now I be getting two games that I like four. Tell me what's important. <laughs> Now I only be doing like two games because that boy out of shape. We're getting older out here. 30 plus gang, baby. I still be balling when I go show up at the court, but now I be getting two games that I like four. Tell me what's important. <laughs> I've been thinking about the people that I call my core friend. I had a guy that I call my best friend my whole life. When my mama died, he ain't even slide. I just realized you can measure love by the time. Now I got I got a dude that call ho, and when my mama died, I ain't even let it slide. He ain't even slide through. He ain't even come through. You find out who your friends are. Friend, I had a guy that I call my best friend my whole life. When my mama died, he ain't even slide. I just realized oh. you can measure love by the time. Now I gotta focus on mine. I don't hate him, I just gotta reprioritize him. I don't got no time for nothing if it's one sided. Uh, I don't need no one. I ain't got time for nothing if it's one sided, bro. Miss me with that bull. 
I just gotta reprioritize him. I don't got no time for nothing if it's one side. Uh, I don't need no one. Don't even wanna take. They don't wanna make no deposit. I don't need no one. Who always want drink, but they don't wanna pay for the bottle. Nah, finally learn how to chill. Take a break before I bring my man no hell. I know I'm no good than nobody else. If I don't know how to be good to myself, priorities. I know I'm no good to nobody else. If I'm no good to myself. These days. I'm letting God handle all things above me. The things I can't change are the reason you love me. Listen, you can hear the call in my name. I'm not ashamed at all. I don't know why I thought of Jungle by Drake right there, but as I was singing it, I was like, that has nothing to do with what he's talking about. Pray for I pray my mental hell. I know I'm no good than nobody else. If I don't know how to be good to myself, priorities. Like what come first and what come last? Like what's right now and what's gon' last I'll get back to you one day if it ain't my day one mm. I don't got time but I make yeah. some You know your mind you He said I'll get back to you one day if you ain't my day one Hard bro And that bottle and that they wanna drink out the bottle But they don't wanna pay for a type beat line That was hard That was nice It reminds me of Kevin the alligator in that Geico commercial When he's trying to reach for the bill Uh uh, I can't get it. Oh, thanks for pain. Jake produced this one too. I'll get back to you one day if it ain't my day one. I don't got time, but I make yeah. some. You know your mind. You know oh. What's on your mind? Bro, it's just like, what's on your mind? You know priority. Oh, oh. Like it's three different, it's three different vocal tracks, and it's like moving from ear to ear. That's so nice, bro. I love when things move and they pan because having a having a production right down the center gets boring, bro. What's on your mind? Welcome first, welcome last. Time been moving, but it's way too fast. You know your mind. Hold up, can't get this time away to no one. Nope. Except for you, I need you closer That's why I'm on my way to you You, you, you So why do I keep on giving Bro, that you, you, you Tell me that doesn't remind y'all of Usher See the thing about you That caught my eyes Crazy, bro The singing right there, just to like break up the rap Not monotony, but just to give it like a, a different mode A different level that we're not just all staying right here that's why I'm on my way to you. You, 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 you. So why do I keep on giving the least to people I say that I love the most? Shouldn't get anything less than all of my best. Instead, they be getting what's left. Oh, but I want a hundred percent from God, but only won't give them a quarter of me. I grabbed my phone when I woke up this morning. Gotta reorder my priority. I need God. Mm, I grabbed my phone when I woke up this morning. I gotta reorder my priorities, bro. Who out here grabs their phone? That's the first thing you do in the morning. I do that ish all the time, bro. I'm like, Dan, do I got any new? Do I got any new followers on YouTube? Like, what am what? Am, what's my follower count on the gram now? Overnight, you know what I'm saying? What's left over? I want a hundred percent from God, but only one give him a quota of me. I grab my phone and I. Oh, I didn't even hear him say that. He said, I want a hundred percent from God, but I only give him a quarter of me. I give him an hour a week on Sundays. Instead they be getting what's left over I want a hundred percent from God But only won't give them a quota of me mm. I grab my phone when I woke up this morning you Gotta be my priorities. priorities I need God in my life yeah. Cause we don't be talking enough I give a call when I'm stuck Now when I'm all the way up I think he calling my bluff I said I don't got no time for him. We made the time for the things that we love You tell me what are your priorities like what come first and what come last Like what's right now and what's gon' last Get back to you one day if you ain't my day one I don't got time but for you, I'll make some good You know your mind Hard, bro What's on your mind? What? I like that the 808 just like hits But it's not like a long like drawn out It's not just like doom doom It's like doom doom You know your mind
There's only two tracks where the beat has been able to breathe at the end. Like a lot of the tracks, like the production goes right up to the very end. It would get boring if every single beat had room to breathe at the end. Like I wanted to end just like the excitement, just zero, a hundred to zero. You know what I'm saying? And I like his determination. And I like the fact that besides everything that he tries to do, he always submits himself and asks God to direct and to guide. And so I like that, that humble part too. His mom being on the album just like sets it off to like the next level on uh of emotion because it provides it provides like a level of nostalgia, especially considering it's Neverland. And, you know, like I say, we're trying to find the kid inside, trying to like remain that hopeful spirit and not let the world break us as an adult and having your mom in, in there as like as a comfort as comfort as she's telling the story of who you are. It's fire, bro. Priorities was a solid track, especially right off the right off the back of it could be worse. They had almost like the same similar bop, but two completely different, like, it could be worse. Feels like, oh, I'm okay, that's self-assurance that even though if something's going wrong, I'm still doing decent. And priorities is like, all right, well, it could be worse, but it could also be better if I just if I just prioritize my time. It's like those two tracks back to back are fire. All right, let, next up, we got trying. We only got three more tracks on the album, ladies and gentlemen. We're moving right along. Trying a 10? Trying to be content, ain't trying to be complacent. Hey. Trying to stay grounded while I'm trying to break it. Hey. Trying to stay motivated, my motor's waning. I got invitation to the game, don't want to overstay it. Trying to be. Oh my God, there's bars right there, bro. Man said, I'm trying to stay grounded while I'm trying to break it, while I'm trying to break ground in my career. Hard. What else did he say at the first line before that? Trying to be content, but not trying to be complacent. It's a fine balancing act, bro. Like you want to be content with the fruits of your labor and where you're at, but you want to still push forward. If you get too content, that's when you start to fall off. I'm sorry, but this is the worst song on the album while other people are saying it's a 10? We're about to find out, Bryce, and I'll let you know. Manu, what up? Welcome in, tough. Uh, this is Andy Minio. Trying to stay grounded while I'm trying to break it. Trying to stay motivated, my motor's waning. I got invitation to the game. Don't want to overstate. Don't want to overstate the game. Trying to be a great husband. Trying to be a great artist. Trying to find inspiration. Trying to find where a heart is. Mm. Yeah. Trying to blow your mind and speaker. Trying to buy it, never lease it. Trying to get some time with Jesus. Trying to find my genius. Trying to hide my secrets. Trying to find the reason. Trying to trust my ideas. Trying to speed the process. Trying to stop reading comments. Trying to find some confidence. I'm trying to find my key. All right, so trying the entire theme of the song is fire, bro, because that's all we can do as human beings. We're never going to be able to get to the level that we want to be. All we can do is just try because we're not perfect. We have vices. We have we have bad habits. All we can do is try to be better. And if you're trying to be better, that means you're not complacent with where you're at. So the song sounds like his delivery sounds like, dude, I'm trying. I'm ex I'm tired. I'm exhausted of trying. I want to be already. But trying is really all that we can do. Find a reason, trying to trust my ideas, trying to speed the process, trying to stop reading comments, trying to find some confidence. I'm trying to find my keys. I'm trying to be respected, trying, trying to, find to my hit keys. the checklist, trying to reach perfection, trying to leave an impression, trying to put this phone down for a second, trying to check it. I'm trying to live up to everything I expected. Bro, I'm trying to put this phone down for a second, but I'm also trying to check it. I'm trying to live up to everything that I expected of myself. Trying to check it. I'm trying to live up to everything I expected. Trying to buy some Bitcoin. Trying to buy some loyalty. Trying to find a producer who want more than just the royalty. Oh. Trying to innovate while well, everybody trying to imitate. Trying to make it look like I ain't trying. Damn. Oh my God, this guitar solo about to go ham. All right, so Bryson, I feel like you might not have liked this song so much because of its very stripped down nature. It doesn't have anywhere near, like the production isn't anywhere near as grand. It's all very simple and like kind of simple. It's simple, but not simplistic. Simplistic is whenever something is simple, but in a negative way. This is, sim this is, it's simple. It's like less is more type beat. You know what I'm saying? Because the subject matter of the song, like I'm trying. You ever feel like you're trying to do something and you just can't reach it? or you're trying to do something, you're trying to get more followers, you're trying to get that promotion and it always just seems like it's out of your grasp. 
that shit gets frustrating bro it gets frustrating especially if you see people that are like if you feel like they're not trying as hard as you are but they're succeeding in a faster way than you are to me this is a good track this is not going to be a track that everybody likes in terms of they're going to bump all the time but when it comes to the when it comes to the content and like the art form of writing lyrics and and creating a song when it comes to being like not emotional but when it comes to being vulnerable on the mic this is probably going to be like up there but he said i want producers who want more than just a royalty bro i want these people to have a relationship with me as we try to build something yes it's a great song very relatable but banger wise lowest on the list emotional moving wise is like number two that's respectable bryson i do agree with you so if you are someone who is trying to get like a vibe going uh, trying is probably not going to be your track to go to. It, it could be worse is going to be your track to go to. Uh, not going to do, you know, the drill, been about it. Those are going to be your go-to tracks if that's the vibe you're trying to get with. If you're trying to get the more introspective vibe, you're going to go with Nobody's Coming. Um, you're going to go with Remind Me. You're going to go with uh, Trying Priorities. It just depends on what your vibe is and what you're expecting out of the song. It's like expecting the flavor of vanilla when you order chocolate ice cream. Trying to check it. I'm trying to live up to everything I expected. Trying to buy some Bitcoin. Trying to buy some loyalty. Trying to find producer who want more than just the royalty. I'm trying to innovate while everybody trying to imitate. Trying to, trying make to it innovate look like what? I ain't trying. Mm. Let that guitar cry, baby. All my life, all I ever did was. Oh, that echo out. I'm just. All my life, all I ever did was I'm just Trying to stop trying to start trusting Trying to stop lusting Trying to stop cussing off Trying to have my name in the top ten when Trying to stop cussing off Trying to stop cussing, I f it. Trying to have my name in the top ten whenever that's in discussion. I'm trying to make a major impact with an indie budget. I'm trying to be present, trying to be faithful, trying to be grateful, trying to be gracious. But I try my patience. I'm trying to be great, trying to find balance. Bro, the frustration is building in the delivery. I can hear it. I can hear the frustration building. I can hear it going from like I'm just trying, I'm tired, and then I'm trying to be. Like I'm trying to be very competitive. I'm trying to be on top of the game with with without the same resources as every, everybody else. Andy Minio is playing Moneyball. Andy Minio is the Oakland A's, and he's trying to go against the the New York Yankees and the Boston Red Sox, who have five times the budget that he does. You know what I'm saying? Does that make sense to y'all? Trying to be faithful, trying to be grateful, trying to be gracious, but I try my patience. I'm trying to be great, trying to find balance, trying to move forward, never go backwards. Ain't trying to be average, live a life that matters. Trying to outrun sadness, eat more salad, trying to leave my baggage, but I keep on packing, trying to get back in to the road less traveled. But I need my map and delete my app. It's building, and then also the also the speed of the track is building. I mean, the speed of the flow is building. So like we're getting more aggressive and more loud in the delivery. But I keep on packing, trying to get back in to the road less traveled. But I need my map and delete my app. For a week, then I'll be right back. I'm trying to see me in the lap on the west side highway. Do a nine day with the seat lean way back. Be in the back. I got baggage, I ain't unpacked. I got things that I can't take back. Words that I tell myself way worse than the ones when they attack. Now, one thing I know is for certain I'm in the room and everything trying to make it perfect. All my life, I've been searching. Ooh. <laughs> Bro. This shit is crazy. All right, Bryson. He said, guys, this is, I'm wrong. This is a great song. I didn't pay attention to it enough on the, when I did the dit when we listened to it the first time. Respect. Respect on you still staying open-minded while everybody's slamming their, uh, their ideas down their, down your throat. But that right there, that buildup of the flow, the buildup of the anger and the, and the, not animosity, but like just the frustration of always trying and not getting to where you, you want to go. But you're also not going backward. And so it's like we're hyped and we're getting passionate and we're just building up. And then the, 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 the oh, bro. Bryson top 10 character development in anime 2021. No doubt about it. On the west side highway, do a nine day with the seat lean way back. Beat in the back. I got All right. Sorry. We're going to listen to it one more time because it's so fire. But I just wanted to point out as I'm listening. I love when things are reversed in production. There's something in the back of the production. It sounds like the clap is reversed. It goes whoosh instead of like going forward sounds nice 
forward, never go backwards. Ain't trying to be average, live a life that matters. Right here, right here, trying right to outrun sadness, eat more salad. Trying to leave my baggage, but I keep on packing. Trying to get back in to the road less traveled. But that I need Oregon, my map, I delete my apps. For a week, then I'll be right back. I'm trying too. to see me in the lap. On the west side highway, do a nine day with the seat lean way back. Beat in the back. I got baggage, I ain't unpacked. I got things that I can't take back. Words that I tell myself way worse than the ones when they attack. Now, one thing I know is for certain. I'm gonna ruin everything, trying to make it perfect. All my life, I've been searching. Oh my god, bro. That all my life I've been searching. He said I got baggage that I ain't unpacked, like emotional baggage. And he said the words that I tell myself are way worse than the ones that they tell me when they attack. That's like a, such a creative way of everybody of saying that I am my biggest critic. It doesn't matter what you tell me, because what you tell me is never going to be anywhere near as bad as what I tell myself. Now I'm going to ruin everything, trying to make it perfect. All my life I've been searching. Oh my god. Show the blemish. Go to exit. That right there and bring concert. Don't finesse it. Flesh and blood. Not the weapon. Load it up. Get the message. Phone them up. Get the blessing. Rolling up. Codependent. All my life, all I ever did was drink. I'm just. All my life, all I ever did was drink. Bro, try to turn the echo out. What if I should? Could it be in the? What if I should? Could it be in the? I can't be everything that I wanna be for you. But I'll be here trying. Bro. That might be the best song on the album, guys. Not the not the banger of the album, not the sad song of the album, but overall, like the if we're gonna encapsulate the entire thing of what Andy Minio is and who he is as an artist and what he presents as his persona on the mic, that's it right there, bro. That is Andy Minio right there. Living the human condition, frustrated by the human condition and the point in life and career potentially because he's a very you got to be confident in who you are to be a good rapper and you got to be and you got to be a competitive spirit to survive and there even in christian hip-hop much less regular hip-hop you got to be able to be confident in who you are and have the drive to be competitive in order to survive in the shark what shark infested waters you got to be a shark too just the frustrations and the openness with us on the mic the vulnerability but also like i know i'm trying as a person but as long as as long as i got my faith with me type beat but also even if i got my faith with me it's still it's still something that's frustrating um for me to not be where i want to be even if it is all god's timing i'm still frustrated because i'm imperfect and i don't want to go on his time i want to go on mine and then the frustration and the build up into that like the frustration built and then it was just a release for the rest of the song it's just fire bro that was the best song on the album for me production wise this album is insane next up we got the technically the last song i guess we got coming in hot on neverland 2 but that album what that that track is what like a year too old we're gonna see cross my heart is next Guys, Coming In Hot is probably on the album because it is the biggest song that Andy and Lecrae have ever released thanks to TikTok and thanks to, you know, people who have been using it for their, for their music. Um, and it was a single, so it was never on any album. So just for SEO purposes in terms of like search engine optimization, if people are searching for Coming In Hot, that's automatically going to bring them to Neverland 2. So that's why it's on the album. It's not on the album to complete the album. It's it's almost like a bonus track, I guess you could say. It doesn't sound like it belongs as part of the album, but it's a track that everybody knows Andy for, so it's a good way to get eyes on the track, or eyes on the album. Whoever 
this is singing right now? Is this ink? Crazy. Pay the price. Don't you know the future's right now? to live forever but i hope that the pain doesn't last too long it's a two-way street that's a good that's a good line that's my heart i hope to live forever i hope this pain don't last too long too long keep holding on bro the amount of panning and just of like all the background instrumentation and vocals in the entire album is crazy bryson trying is my new favorite song in the album that's too long bro it took a pandemic to finally make that facetime call to people that i've been putting off the pandemic realized that you can't you can't be putting things off you gotta be doing what you need to do you can't be putting people off because who knows who's gonna be here who's not at the end of the day tomorrow so i pray then i meditate hard if i take a l learn then i elevate dog ain't no elevators on a stairway to heaven god i ain't always quite clear on direction because life ain't seem to go how i planned it things will pop out and malfunction shop janet we always take for granted what we think is set in granted what if we didn't panic but we always take for granted when we think it's set in granite set in stone life ain't seem to go how i planned it things will pop out and malfunction shop janet we always take for granted what we think is set in granted what if we Art. didn't panic but instead we took advantage of the time that we got right now i knew how short it was when my mom timed out mm. i held her inside my heart pain don't last too long this ain't forever it's just by right now i see you again the vulnerability bro and just the mindset, the outlook. Pain don't last too long. I held her in my arms as she went. And it's not goodbye. It's just goodbye for now. See you on the other side, yo. GG's. My heart pain don't last too long. This ain't forever. It's just, just bye right now. I see you again. Can you tell me who I'm supposed to be if I can't be myself? The high pass is crazy. Tell me nice who's gonna help, help me so The high pass is crazy because it takes out all of like the darkness of the instrumental when this song is like a, supposed to be an uplifting positive type song so it takes out all of the deep end of the instrumental and it just all we have left is just like the floating feeling because we don't have any deep things to ground us I hope this pain don't last too long It's over. That's it. Goodbye. Cut. Hard, bro. Coming in hot. I don't. I don't assume is the last track on the album. I don't see it as the last track on the album. I see the album is 13 tracks, and coming in hot was put on for marketing and for business reasons. So, guys. Uh, yeah. So, how do we feel about the album? If you want to throw it down on a one to ten, this right here is like a nine and a half for me. If I'm being honest, it's just, it's up there. There's not a single skip for me on the album. If anything, there's multiple powerful tracks that are like, damn, got me introspective than a mud on the album. One thing about the album is that the vibe changed throughout the album. We started all hype and then we got a little more vulnerable in our feels and we're not getting enough uplifting. Life is hard, but it could be worse vibes. That's what I'm saying. The album in, the album in its whole has like three different parts. It's three different acts. Act number one, hype. Act number two, introspective. Act number three, positivity. 
You know what I'm saying? Uh, Jeff, album was a definite nine, uncomfortable, nine out of 10, 11 out of 10, nine, nine, 10 out of 10, nine out of 10, nine out of 10, nine, nine and a half. Bro, pretty much this is a nine. Wish there were more rap, but that's just me. Hans, I could understand that. I mean, there's a decent amount of rap, but there is definitely more singing. Um, I feel like Andy's trying to fill that lane a little bit more and trying to like develop that part of his sound because it's gonna allow him to be able to do so much more with his future projects if he can hone in like the singing type of type of rapping it's the it's one it's actually probably the main reason why drake is as big as he is as an artist he's drake is the biggest the biggest artist in the world or the biggest artist of our generation at least um and it's gonna be because he can fill multiple lanes with his singing and the fact that he can rap so andy minio is probably gonna try to expand um on the singing portion which i don't mind because it's not like crazy auto-tune um it's not anything where there's like you know, it doesn't sound good. His the, his voice sounds solid and he's not trying to go too far out of the range of his uh, of his like vocal register. So he's able to float it and sound nice. Nine and a half out of 10. NL2 is an eight for you. The tracks are solid, but the, my expectations were that he would dive into the whole childish, childish, ain't childlike theme he was advertising. But I get what you're saying. He's but he's a full fledged adult who's trying to stay, who's trying to keep the positivity of a child. But yeah, if you were looking for that, then for sure, like I said, it's like you're trying to get ice cream, trying to get chocolate ice cream and you got Rocky Road. It's kind of the same, but not really. You know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, that's like a nine, nine point three for me. Eight and a half solid album coming from someone not a stan. Yeah, murder. That's a good thing. It's a good thing we have people in here that aren't you know uh chh fans so that way we could get like a we can get a review from outside of the world um because andy and lecrae are probably the biggest acts within chh so people who aren't part of that world you're seeing them as just a normal artist for the first time 